Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha and fueled by StarTron. Stewart, Florida is a charming coastal town nestled along the treasure coast of Florida. Along the St. Lucie River sits the historic downtown area that exudes old Florida charm with its well-preserved early 20th century buildings, quaint shops, and inviting restaurants. Brought in all new shops and all, and now it's the center or the hub of the whole area. Stewart's picturesque natural setting and laid-back atmosphere make it a popular destination for both tourists and Floridians looking to escape the hustle and bustle of city life. Stewart, Florida is often referred to as the sailfish capital of the world, but on this sportsman's adventure, we're on the beach and launching the baits for Pompano. And since we have all the room we want, Captain Rick brought Bree Gabrielle, Dave Farrell, and Mike Holliday from the Florida Insider Fishing Report along to have some fun. Treasure Coast native Jimbo Shipes also joins the crew. He's been fishing these shores all his life, and he'll be making sure the fish get to the beach. The weather is great on this morning, but a cold front is forecasted to roll in soon, and Dave Farrell is honing into the expected opening act before finding the main attraction. What you got? What you got? What you got? Another bluefish. He's a good size one. He would make good dip for you. Yeah. One fish, two fish. Yes, sir. Red fish, blue fish. Oh, look, fish bites stay down. Go, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Only a mama could love that mouth. This might be this might be the right brand here because he's going to the north. I don't know if he's come up. That's the right brand. Here we go. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. This is what we're looking for, guys. Florida Pompano. This is our wintertime fish. They're out on the beach right now. They show up about November, and they'll go all the way through, oh, the end of April. Uh, we're in January, in the middle of winter. They tend to be out far. In the springtime, they tend to be in real close. So as you get to uh, March and April, you don't really have to have these big, long surf rods. You can just have a, a you know, just a regular short, short rod and throw short into the trough. <laughs> Look at that one. What's the legal size on those, Mike? Hey. Jimbo, Jimmy, what's, what's the legal what's size? What's the minimum size? size? He's up, absolutely. You know what size. the size limit is? Yes, there? it's 11 in inches to the, the fork. Oh, nice. That's a nice one. <laughs> How do you like Good to job, cook that, Mikey. Mike? So, so I, I do it a little bit different than everybody. I fillet them, take the meat, take um, sweet peppers. I take a, a red pepper and a yellow pepper and uh, cut those up. I take some angel hair pasta and Ooh. some olives, green olives. Cut the green olives up and uh, put a little a little oil and a little butter in a pan, the green olives, and white wine to the top of the oil. And then I lay the fillets on top of that and put the lid on and just poach it. And oh, those man. olives will suck the mm. like the fat out of the out of the meat. And then get my angel hair going. Then I saute the peppers in um, with a little bit of garlic in, in olive oil. And I take everything and just put it on top of the pasta. Oh my gosh. Wow. You're a chef. That sounds good. It's amazing. It's Yo, amazing. So that's what we're having for dinner. Yes. Thanks for the invite. <laughs> we'll yep. be at your house later. I guess hey, that's going to happen. Listen, pretty, you need to go down there and catch one. All right. You got to catch a catch. I'm going. Okay. Got a bunch of shells and live fleas. Oh, you got fleas. live fleas. Yeah. Live fleas. Of course, fleas. I got live fleas. Bree's got fleas. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So these are just like a mini permit, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, if you look at them, they're all not really much different. Yep. A lot of times people have a hard time distinguishing between them and a permit. 
We need to but catch some more. They're strong. They're hard to hold on to a lot of times. Yeah. Big key, ice them as soon as you can. Okay. A lot of guys will just throw them in a bucket of water and wait. Okay, so let's stop talking. Get, get them on, on ice. ice. <laughs> yeah. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rodan. Set it. Forget it. Catch more fish. Fish Bites and Fish Bites Fight Club Lures. Bahio Sunglasses. Fresh eyes for a rich life. Pen. Let the battle begin. And Startron. Start, run, store with Startron. There's a certain way we set up uh, our rods for surf fishing. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a technology thing that you need to know. Um, one thing they use, you want to use either, either like a, a brightly colored line or a very dark colored line. Uh, most people don't use clear monofilament anymore. Uh, what they like to use is braid. Um, and the thing you want to do is go with a very light braid, like 15 pound test. Uh, if you use it, the heavier your, your line is, the thicker the diameter of the line, if you get a lot of current, um, when the line's in the water, it creates drag. And that will make your weight lose contact with the bottom and drift down. You have to keep reeling and casting and reeling and casting. So you want to go with the lightest line possible. But when you do that, um, if you go to cast and you have, you have this on your finger and you go to cast, um, one, it can cut your finger, and two, the weight, the, the actual weight on the end of it and the flex of it and the torque that it creates through the line uh, will often snap your line with just 15 pound test. So what we do is we put a shock leader on it. Um, this is 50 pound braid right here. This is 15 pound braid. The, the 50 pound braid will absorb all the shock. And all, all you really want to do is have enough to go around the reel four or five times. And then enough to stick out all the way to your rig. And then uh, when you throw that out, the shock leader will absorb all the shock of it. And then the line that's actually in the water will be a very short piece of, of 50 and then the rest will be 15, so it won't create much drag. Really big key when you're trying to, trying to surf fish. Man, come on, stay on, baby. Come on, stay on. We got the smorgasbord of surf fishing a pair, uh, tackle. It's crazy. What? You got a little one. What do you got me, Dave? You got one. Nice. That'll go with holidays. I don't think he's big enough, though. He's right on the edge. Yeah, 11 inches to the fork. fork. Yeah. He is right he's, there. He's right there. I don't know if he's got him. Youthful offender. Hmm? It's a youthful offender. Eh, I don't think he's gonna make it. I don't think. Here's, so. a, deal, here's a deal I always do. What do you do? If you gotta measure them, throw them back. Throw them back. Yeah. yeah. You gotta measure them. Because you're not back. gonna That's get good. You're not gonna get enough for a sandwich out of it. That's a good thing. Holiday. He's nice and sandy. They're strong fish. That's even, what we're wanting. Even yeah, our little yeah, guys are strong one. fish. Okay. Keep coming, Pompies. Show them the bait. What you got there? So we got a little fish bites. A little strip of fish bites and then you put a flea on tipped top with, with that. with a sand flea. Not, not sand flea tipped with fish bites. You got a different sinker here too. You got one of them spider sinkers. Is that what that is? Yeah, these things reload. So this will bend. So it'll come out of the sand. And fit like that. Oh, that's When you cool. pull it out, it disengages. Oh, nice. They call them spiders. Spiders. So it, what, it, what the advantage of that is, is not having to go to, when there's a lot of longshore current, Right. You don't have to go to as much weight. I got you it. You can use a lighter weight and it'll hold bottom better. Got it. You need some sand fleas. I got some. So Mike, I want to ask you, there's some boats down there look like they're commercial fishing. What are they fishing for? They're pompano fishing. Pompano fishing? Yeah. They're, they're, sometimes they'll be Spanish mackerel fishing, but when you see them like this, where they're spread out like that, uh, they're pompano fishing. The thing that's so cool about pompanos is anywhere in the coast of Florida, you can catch them and you can Both actually coasts, yeah. follow a migration. The time that it's peak here is not necessarily the time that it's peak in Destin and Pat Deneen's region, you know? That's correct. The fish so, are migratory. Yeah. You know, they'll come down for the winter 
And I, I didn't realize it go all the way down to the Keys and all. That's pretty crazy. Flamingo used to have a tremendous fishery. And I don't think as much so now as they did, but I don't know. What you'll find is there's like a main, there's a body of fish that moves. And that's what we have here. Right now, the, the body of fish is from about Sebastian to almost Palm Beach. And uh, those fish will move inside as well. And we have a great bite going on inside. Wow. And, and not just on the flats, but you get out on the flats and you see the sharks, you see the manatees, and they get on the backs of those. And you, every manatee or shark we see, we cast a pump on a GM. Cool. And, and when they're here really good, like they are right now, uh, you know, a, a five foot black tip will have three or four pompano on it. Oh. And you'll catch one and you really, man, the, pump, the shark will kind of wander around looking for him and then you throw and catch another one off him, you can pluck them all off him. <laughs> Pretty nice. You, you can catch your limit off of one fish or one manatee. <laughs> Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Fenwick, Feel Everything, Murphy's Law Sport Fishing. Book your trip today at murphyslawsportfishing.com, Berkeley Prospect Chrome, and Island Lures, Tournament Tackle. Weather can change quickly in Florida, so when you need to take a break from the outdoors, a visit to the Florida Oceanographic Coastal Center is the perfect place to immerse yourself in the wonders of local aquatic species and habitats. Look at, look at the, there's, a there's a big pompano. Here at this 57-acre marine life nature preserve, the Coastal Center is not just a showcase of Florida's diverse marine life, but also a hub for research, education, and conservation efforts. We're hoping to inspire that environmental stewardship of all of Florida's coastal ecosystems, and we do that right here through our programs, our exhibits and displays and aquariums. Uh, it's just a fantastic place to come and spend a couple hours. Visitors of all ages can learn about the importance of our oceans and what it takes to keep them healthy. The Florida Oceanographic Coastal Center is more than just an attraction. It's a call to action. A reminder that the preservation of Florida's coastal beauty is in our hands. Visit today and become part of the movement to protect our oceans for generations to come. You got him. <clears throat> Bumpy. There you go, Dave. That's how you do it. Okay, my turn. Me turn. That's how you do it there, this Mr. Dave. That one's 11 inches. That'll work. Yeah, man. That make Mama Bree happy. You taking that home? I'll let her have it. All right. She got. <laughs> she got a, she got a. She got a few. Yeah. She got a few. Nice. He's pulling! He's pulling! He's pulling! Crack it! Nice, Pompano! They like this weather. Keep reeling. Come on! Hey! That was, I saw him, he went right by my bait, sniffed it, and went on the breed. Little boog ahead. Little boog ahead. Little boog ahead. Hey, you know what's happening here, don't you? <laughs> We're getting close to a big dinner. That's what's happening. He's fixing to go in the igloo. Yeah, man. Sure it is. It was worth coming back out, huh? Yeah, it was. Easy, easy. Baby him. Don't pull against him when he's go when the weather's go. Okay, now Don't do pull me. him up. Now pull. Pull him up. Pull him up. Pull him up. Pull him up. There soon. you go. Yay! You handled that like a pro. 
Well, here's what I was just telling Rick. When you feel that fish. Feel the slack. Yep, when you feel. Nice. That's a beauty. When we feel what, Jimbo? When you feel that fish, you know, like that wave's receding. Yeah. That's when you need to just go down, pull, put your pole low, and go with the fish, because otherwise he's going to pull that lip out. Which and what, what that's, that, what, that's what happened. But what you did was correct. But like I said, when you feel that wave going back, go with it, because he's going to go back with the wave. And then when that next wave comes, that's when you want to just bring him right on in. Yeah, yep. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Did so really do you good. always outfish Rick, or is it just in the surf? Want me to wash him off there, Rick? <laughs> oh, that's a nice one, man. Yeah, man. Bring him with this wave. Nice. Dude, that stuff is $30 a pound in the market now. It is. I'm gonna rebate and get out there. This 11? Oh yeah, he's long. He's legal. Pompano! East Coast style right there. Get him, Bree! You did good! Huh? You did good. That's a big one. Got my hair in the reel. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> Jimbo. Her yeah. hair. Her hair got in the reel. You have she a piece of me. All in the school. You have a piece of me forever. <laughs> oh boy. Not the bad. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, relax. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands. Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia. The American Fishing Tackle Company. Any fish, any water. Heroes on the water. Paddle fish heal and the florida keys and key west come as you are so what you also want to do after you cast out you want to reel your line tight and let the weight sink in the sand and reel it tight to where you just get a little bend in that rod just so it's bent a little bit um, because when the when you get a pompano bite you'll basically get two kinds of bites one you get the bite where the whole rod bonks over it just flexes the rod and it's very obvious you have a bite. That's when the pompano eats the bait and runs away from you. Sometimes the pompano will eat the bait, feel the hook and come at you, and then the rod will just straighten out. So if you have a little bit of bend in the rod, you can look down the beach and see every rod and see every rod has a bend in it. You know the, the line's tight and you haven't had a bite. If the line just, if the rod's straight up, the line will tend to go slack. You run over there, reel it real quick. And you wanna get on that really quickly because uh, you have slack in the line and there's an opportunity for the pompano to shake that hook. So you want to reel it as quick as you can, get tight on the fish, then bring them in naturally. He's a puller. Get up, yep. Now with that wave, there you go. You're it's going fine. down the beach, Honor. Okay, pull back. It's going to be a Good. permit. Let him go, let him go, you're doing good. Now bring him up with this wave, yep. And now pull. More, more, more. Don't lose him, Rick. <laughs> All right. Hey, we got him! I love fishing like this. I got him! My fish caddy. I'm the fish caddy. I'm <laughs> pumping up caddy. I'm pumping up Pete. Here we go. It's over, bub. Oh, You're girl. done. You are so done now. Here you go. Who wants this, this one? So Who wants this one? Who wants this one? Oh, Get him, Pete. Get that one. Pete's bar. Here. Here. Come on. Get on them. They're going down the line. Them up. They're going down the line, Bree. Yep. We got a little pod going by. <laughs> I 
Hollywood, you right. You said they would be fighting today. You're right. You don't get to go to the beach very much, do you? No. It's like it's like playing in a sandbox for you. Oh, it is. You're like a little kid out here. Let that wave pull them in. Bring them in now. You get a workout while you're fishing. You definitely get a workout. Woo. Wait for that wave. At least it's not cold. That now, would suck. Pull them in. <laughs> I see him, Bree. Oh, look at that. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, it, it's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. There you go. You got him. I got him. Jimbo, don't go very far. Just come right here. We'll get this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want yeah, you double header, huh? Like he caught both of them at the same time. Close. Oh. We're just impressed I caught two. Fishing on the beach is a bit of a workout, and lunch couldn't have come at a better time. Chakra's Deli is a local favorite, renowned for its array of homemade sandwiches that embody the essence of comfort food. With a warm, inviting atmosphere and a reputation for friendly service, Chakra's has become a go-to spot for both locals and visitors seeking a satisfying meal. Whether it's their famous piled high roast beef supreme or a custom creation of your own, Chakra's Deli delivers a taste of Stewart's local charm in every bite. Keep up with the latest at Sportsman's Adventures by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and follow us on Facebook, X, Instagram, and YouTube.